Hey guys, it's Cory from Cory Survival. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own trout bait from whatever colors and or scents you guys choose to use, like I've got right here. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so for the ingredients, and I'm telling you the ingredients for this uh, project are very cheap to acquire. What you're going to need is a bag of marshmallows, mini marshmallows. The big ones, are, they're, they're way too big and fish ain't going to be able to eat that. So, mini marshmallows. Um, this was just a bag I've had sitting on top of my fridge for a minute, but I know they're like a dollar. You can even get a big bag at Walmart for like a dollar twenty-five, I believe. Um, one of the other ingredients I use is food coloring. Uh, if you're a baker and like to cook, you've probably got this somewhere laying in your kitchen. Um, now for scents, I've got three different scents I use. I've got this uh, Gulp Power Bait Trout Attractant here. Um, this one works for catching fish. The marshmallows just get a little sticky, and I'll show you here in a minute why. The next one is Procure's Bait Sauce by uh, Ruthlessly Effective. I think that's what it's called. Ruthlessly, ruthlessly effective bait scents. Um, this has worked the best for me so far uh, with, with using this method. Uh, and then this right here is Chomper's G formula. It's pretty much just really, really strong garlic scent. Um, you can find these products. Uh, I found these two at Cabela's. Uh, I think Shields might even sell it. Um, you might get lucky at Walmart, I'm not sure. This here though, I did get at Walmart. This was like $6, $7, whereas these two are ranging between $8 and $10. Um, but it goes a long way. Um, and then for the last thing you're going to need is gallon bags you mix all of your ingredients in. Alright guys, for the first thing you're going to do, you're going to grab your one gallon bag, go ahead and open her up. And get your marshmallows. Just go ahead and dump however many you want in there. Uh, I usually do a lot because this stuff can keep for a long time inside of a, uh, a fridge. And that's where I keep it, is inside my refrigerator. I'll probably just go ahead and just do all of them. Might as well. I don't have that many left. Wait. All right. Now what you're gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna be using this bait sauce for this because this is what's working best for me so far. Um, but you guys can use whatever scents you guys choose to use. Some of them might make the marshmallows a little stickier. Others might might not and they'll just make it like an oily kind of a substance on top of the marshmallows, but the marshmallow will absorb it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crack this open. I'm gonna go ahead, you don't even need that much. Just add one, two, three, four, five, six. I usually add about, I don't know, 10, maybe 12 fish squirts. Just to make sure it's it's all in there. And then you just give it a good mix. Mix it up as much as you can. And as you can see, it's kind of like a yellowy brown so far. It's kind of turning the marshmallows. But you want to make sure you get the, the corners. Get all of that work in. And a lot of time you can just you can open the bag and smell it to see whether or not uh, there's enough scent for you. Um, a lot of time it's just it's trial and error. I already kind of got the, the gist of how much to use with this. Um, every scent's going to be different though. And you're going to want to add more or do different things to it. Like for instance with the garlic scent, I threw garlic salt and I threw even more garlic into it. Just so it would, it would bring that scent out even more. Alright, let me smell this now, see whether or not it's good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I like a little bit of extra sin. 
because it's going to marinate. It's going to marinate while it sits in the fridge. Especially in between uses, when you do decide to use this, it will sit in, in the fridge. Or it will marinate in there, my bad. Go ahead and mix that up a little bit more. Open up this food color in here. Now, the fish around my area, they tend to hit on oranges, or they tend to hit on uh, chartreuses, so like a, a light green. Uh, yellows as well, they love yellows. So um, I am getting a little low on chartreuse of this scent, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a chartreuse for you guys. So for chartreuse, all you, all you really need is the, the green food dye, and the yellow. And now with the food dye, I kind of do a little bit, I mix it, and then I do a little bit. So I'll go ahead and add one, two, three, four, about five-ish drops. I'll shut it, and I'll just start mixing. Start mixing like crazy. As you see, it's starting to turn a little green and you're going to want to do this a few times so like get your first layer of green in there and then you add just a little bit more green to make sure it's coated everywhere so i'd say it's probably about oh 15 drops total just to make sure that that dye is coating because the reason why you need that much is the dye absorbs quick in the mushrooms, or in the mushrooms, the, uh, the dye absorbs quick in the uh, marshmallows. marshmallows, gosh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking mushrooms too, which was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the green all mixed up, as you can see it's like a nice like forest green color, really nice forest green. Now what we're going to do get this yellow, and we're going to put about the same amount of drops in there. Kind of squirt in there. It's all trial and error with how, how much color you want in here. Trust me. The marshmallows will kind of let you know how much it wants. It's kind of getting a little yellow. It's kind of almost like a chartreuse. Okay, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit more yellow. And all this mixing is also mixing around all of that scent too, constantly. So it's it's getting a good mix. pretty much it for making your own bait. Alright guys, so as you can see, that was really easy to make. Um, this is a floating type bait, kind of like power bait, and it works just like power bait, like how fast the trout hit, um, how, it, how it floats in the water. Uh, you can use almost a bigger hook for this because it, it's a little bit more buoyant in my opinion than power bait. Um, but when I say colors, I mean, I've got like a blue, yellow I made. Also, the bait sauce that I just used. Um, I've got an orange. I got a lot of the orange because they love it. Um, that's also the bait sauce. I've got this garlic kind of green chartreuse that I made. This is uh, about the same consistency as the bait sauce. So, in my opinion, I recommend the garlic and the bait sauce just because uh, it, it doesn't stick together. And for instance, I'm going to show you. This is the gulp, and as I said earlier, uh, it tends to stick a little bit with the marshmallows. And as you can see, just with the bag, like, you can just tell. Like, it's just all sorts of sticky in there. Like, the marshmallows are just 
sticking to my fingers. Like, but it does work. It smells just like power bait. Because I mean, it's, it's the gold scent. Um, but as you can tell with like the bait sauce, I can just reach in here. It's not as sticky because it all stays pretty loose. And just grab one. And it's not sticky at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy method on how to make your own trout bait. If you guys ended up making your own, uh, in a later video I'll be showing you guys on how to use this trout bait and we'll go slay some trout up in the hills. Uh, go ahead and hit this like button down below. Uh, if you guys are into this type of thing, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys a part of my community. I do stuff like this all the time. And leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And as always, keep living, keep fishing, and I will see you guys in the next video.